This is Jeff Clemente with the SkyBrowse team. I just wanted to let you know about a couple of new features that were released today in our software. One is the angle tool. The angle tool is going to be great for accident reconstruction and scene documentation. The other tool that I'm really excited about is our POV tool. This tool is going to be critical in tactical planning. So let's get into it. So here we are on the SkyBrowse website. I've got a couple models pulled up to, to show you what these new tools are capable of. The first one's our angle tool. Um, I chose a skate park. We flew this down at a public safety conference down in Alabama. What better place to see what you can do as far as measuring angles than a skate park, right? So we got the angle tool up here. You can hover it over it. It'll tell you exactly how to use it. You left click around the 3D model to, deter to determine angles. So simply left click, left click, left click. If I wanted more angles from here, I can. Um, simply by stretching out and going. If you don't want another angle, right click, and there you go. So this ramp right here, 31 degrees. Say we wanted to measure this ramp over here. Same thing, click the tool, left click, left click, left click to get off of it, right click. So now we can obviously tell that off of this ramp over here, we can get much more altitude than this ramp based on the angles. Now, all joking aside, great tool for for accident reconstruction, if you needed to know angle of impact or anything like that, um, you can measure the angles for that. So you can measure vertically, horizontally, any direction that you can click a mouse, you can go and pull angles within your 3D models now. Click, click, click. And obviously I've got fat fingers, so I'm not you know perfect as far as clicking, but you can always move your points after the fact to get them where you need them as well. So that's the first tool. The second tool that I'm really excited about, I, I don't think I've ever seen this in any software. Um, it's our point of view tool. So we've got a 3D model here that was made for tactical planning for one of those peaceful protests that we all know about. Um, so we've got this tool here, your point of view tool. So it'll tell you exactly how to use it. Same thing, select a point in the 3D model and the tool will show you that perspective. In a nutshell, what that's telling you is, say I wanted to get a vantage point from one of these windows, and I want to know what we're going to actually be able to see from one of those windows. I can simply click on the POV tool. You'll see I have a little magnifying glass looking icon over there. So say I wanted to know what, we'll, what we're able to see from these windows over here. I literally just click on the window, and it puts me inside of that window so you can see what you'd be able to see from that window. This is great for sniper positioning, camera positioning, um, anything you would want a vantage point from without having to actually go there, you can get using this tool. So if we zoom out a little bit here, say we wanted to put a camera on this corner. Let's use some of the other tools we've got here. So, so we'll say camera one and we want it up in this corner. So if we think that's about where we want to put our camera. Click the point of view tool, same thing. Get the magnifying glass. Now all of a sudden I'm on the corner of that building and I can see, there's the corner. I can see what that camera would be able to see from that vantage point up on that rooftop. So I hope you find these new tools as useful as I do. We're gonna be coming out with some really good stuff in the near future, so stay tuned.